Good evening. Hopefully this will work out here. I'll give it a minute or two. Hey, Brandon. Aaron, a Aaron, <laughs> Cosmos, Don, Chad, soaking in it, David, Charles, Josh, how's everybody doing? Okay. I figured I'd just give you a little tour of what's going on around here. We haven't really shown anything for a while, unless you're a member of our Patreon. You can just get little clips here and there of things that are going on. Oh, we have a lot of stuff. The shop is starting to fill up. And we're making progress on the apartment. All kinds of neat things to show you tonight. Hey, Jerry. Yeah, Jerry, you gotta come hang out over here so you can help us do some work. <laughs> You're retired. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, Rick, Rick left today. He was a huge help with lots of stuff around here. Um, the only bus that I have that I'm working on right now is that Prevo, and most of the parts are gonna be in tomorrow for that. So we're hoping to have that out of here by this weekend. Okay, I'll just do a quick tour right now and then I'll come back to it in a little bit when we get more people on here because I'm sure they'll have more questions and stuff too. So, what do we have in the shop right now? Well, for one is that we've started doing the wall. This will be drywalled for fire code and everything, uh, building code is required to be drywall. But I wanted plywood behind it so I could attach anything to the wall anywhere I want without having to just do drywall hangers or search for a stud. So prices in plywood came way down. So <laughs> it wasn't too bad. Um, we did get a new air compressor for the shop. Uh, it's a super quiet one, 80% quieter. So, and it's got a three year warranty, under like the one that I had before that was super quiet and only had a three month warranty and died after four months. So we're working on a solar power charging station over there for all of our batteries. I have some solar panels that are going outside there in the sun and the power from that is gonna charge this unit here uh, that will um, charge all of our battery packs and stuff off there. So this guy, I'm gonna have a video on it when we do a review of it. But uh, it's 700 watts and it works really well. And we have the Milwaukee stuff and I have some DeWalt stuff and then the Cobalt stuff that I use as well. Uh, battery chargers, batteries, all that kind of stuff. We do have the press in the shop now. It came out of the container. That's been in the container for the last uh, year or so. 20-ton uh, press. Didn't really do those bushings very well. I, apparently, I need like a 50-ton press to do those bushings. Uh, really messy parts washer station. <laughs> um, that needs to get uh, a new pump. The big one, the pump is bad in it. Um, I need to get a new pump in it. And I'm almost ashamed to show that to you because <laughs> it's so messy. I put cardboard on the ground under it though so that it couldn't make a big mess. Um, got some parts we just inherited that we're gonna try to give away at the bus rally. Those airbags are old. We weren't, we were gonna, he, had, he brought them here for this bus as spares, but they're manufactured in 2001. I didn't wanna put them on the bus. I'm not putting a 20 year old airbag on a bus. That's not good. Um, the wipe all towels that I'm actually using right now in my hand, I love these things. I'll have to put a link to them because they're super indestructible. They are like the best towels. And uh, some of our guests that were just here actually bought that for us. Uh, we have a video where we're gonna cover all the things that people got us here for the shop. Um, but uh, John and Deb and Karin bought us that uh, dispenser and the giant roll of towels. We used to just get them in a box. That's much more convenient. Uh, some of the parts that are going on the, on the bus here 
These cabinets we got, one of our Patreon members actually bought those for us. Tim bought those for us and sent them to us. So we got some nice storage and we got all kinds of oils and cleaners and things like that that are mounted or stored in there. Uh, we don't have proper storage for a lot of things right now. So all the wood blocking that we use for parking buses and stuff like that. Uh, some more organizational stuff that we're getting ready to go through here and waters and stuff like that out here. Garbage can. This is the bus that we're working on. Got the new races in the hub. We were all ready to go, but we accidentally got sent the wrong seal for it. So I can't put it back together. Uh, the new brake linings got put on today. So that's getting done. Again, this bus hopefully will be out of here by this weekend. So that's the Prevo. So the end of the shop, that wall, it will be drywalled. Uh, one other benefit of putting the plywood on there too, it puts a stronger wind load rating on that wall. So if a big gust of wind comes flying into the hut, that wall won't buckle with the plywood's gonna help hold it together, but it's very stable. Um, you know, I mean, it's, bol it's bolted at the top all the way down to the Quonset and it's nailed into the concrete. Um, so this is all getting done. And the original tool cart. And then Rick actually got us these, uh, these tool boxes when he was here. This is kind of our primary use box. And that's got all the big stuff in it. So anything up to half inch is kind of in here. Um, and then that's all one inch drive and three quarter inch drive and giant, giant stuff over in that box there. And uh, so it's getting there, you know? Uh, this side is the apartment side. That's the new box, uh, the new snap-on box. Uh, I've had it for uh, over a week now. And there's nothing in it yet. <laughs> oh, my wife, when the snap-on guy came after a week and <laughs> said, um, you know, he's here. And I'm like, oh, great. I haven't even put a single tool in the toolbox yet that I bought the week before. Um, so the apartment is lots of windows. Um, these will all be windows, window, 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 door, window, window, and then window, 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 up top. Uh, we got the staircase put in. Robbie, who had the MCI 12 that was here a couple weeks ago or a week and a half ago, uh, he came and helped us do that staircase. So we laid it all out. They're nice, easy steps, 7.3 inch rise. So very nice. Um, the, that'll be the bedroom loft that's up there. It's very large. I still have a wall to build up there though. Oh, see if I can go upstairs without falling. No handrails. So in the daytime, it's a very pretty view out there of all the trees and over the cliff that's over to the side this way and everything, it'd be nice. I can't look at the phone and walk down the stairs at the same time, or it could be very, very bad. Uh, I don't think I had anything else in here to show other than we have a cool little chill area, which tonight would be a night to use it. It's, it's, it's gonna be in the 50s. But yeah, we just have the rug that Jerry left for us. Look familiar, Jerry? And then some cool seating out here and it's all in the shade or out of the weather. We had rain again today and the day before and the day before that we've had rain, crazy, crazy rain. Gotta watch out for spiders. There are spiders everywhere here. I spray for bugs, but apparently whatever I have does not kill the spiders. I gotta find something else that works better for spiders. Yeah, this box is really nice. I'll do a thing about that later. Um, uh, this is really cool, these Olight flashlights. Um, they have a sale coming up. I'll put a link in the thing. I don't think the sales, I don't think it starts till a couple days. But I'll put a link in the description. You can click to it. We do get a small commission if you do buy Olight flashlights too. So just so you know that, to be upfront with you. Um, some of them are really cool. This one's got 4,200 lumens on it. 
Uh, this one is a thousand lumens, but it's kind of a different design. This we were using last night when we were cutting wood and stuff in there with the saw. So it's 400 lumens is kind of a little one. This one is actually rechargeable now. They didn't used to have those in the rechargeable ones. So in the keychain ones, we've had that before too. Uh, this drill bit set, one of my, our viewers sent us. We've been using it. They are awesome bits too. Oh, I got a free uh, smoothie maker when I got my toolbox too. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Okay, uh, so where are we at with this stuff? Um, lots of cool new tools. One of our Patreon members sent me this too. This um, Easy Red. It's an extendable three quarter inch. So pull this down and it gets much longer. Super heavy duty. That was something I had on my wish list for a while. Um, I'll have to do just a toolbox tour one day and go through all the toolboxes and show you the stuff that we're using. Um, got all the D-Deck stuff sitting out over there. We don't have any electrical in the shop yet. You know, we're waiting to get the framing done before we get into the electrical stuff. So that will be coming. Um, so right now we just have a bunch of extension cords because we just have a temporary power pole out here. And some of it's coming from solar power that we're using with the Blue Eddy. Tyler was using the Jackery, which I see he left on today. Um, that's a tech hunt set. I've had that for a couple of years. Um, got that when I was down in uh, Texas, working on the Wonder Lodge down there. One of our Patreon members sent us those uh, heavy duty jack stands too. But when the jack stands came, uh, the box was all ripped open and we didn't get the pins to adjust the height, but um, he contacted the manufacturer and they were gonna send us some more. So yeah, this is all, this is the one that had that really bad races in it. So outside we got that super bright security parking lot light that we put up. We have a video on that installation coming. It's, it'll be, it was pretty funny the way that we did it. But everything is so bright. Uh, the sewer hoses, we actually have enough where it reaches over to the uh, buses here in the shop so they can do a dump and it goes over to the septic tank. So that's nice. It's just, it's so peaceful out here. It's super, tonight is a really, really nice night. In just a second here, I will take some questions because I haven't been able to read anything. I've just been flapping my gums for you, but I figured you wanted to see the shop, kind of how things were progressing. I had that real unflexible air hose because we ran it down the hill. That's what we ran to the pad. But I like the rubber ones better. They're much more flexible. Okay. Let's see, let me find a seat. Hang on a second. Bear with me. Yeah, it's gonna all be spray foam. I just saw that on there, but give me just a second. I'm gonna grab a seat and then I will answer questions. I will scroll back just a tiny bit, but otherwise, if you've already asked it, go ahead and, sorry. Didn't mean to shake it like that. <laughs> uh, go ahead and ask it again if you would like to. Um, I am going to start trying to wear rubber gloves on dirty projects. One of our customers Jeff stopped by with a bunch of gloves for me and talked to me about some stuff. And so I told him I would, uh, I would really try to start wearing gloves on the dirty, dirty jobs. So that'll make some people happy. 
We do have solar panels laying outside on the ground, uh, ground deployed that go to the bus, and we're using very, very little power here. Um, I have it plugged in and it's set for seven amps that it's drawing for the charger and that's it. And we've been able to run our air conditioner as much as we've needed to. It stays really cool in here. Uh, even on really hot days, it stayed cool in here, but there's total ventilation right now where it's not closed up at one end. So I don't know what's gonna happen once we do get it closed off, but uh, we're getting into fall right now. So it's not really a, a big thing. I think I saw a uh, super chat come in here from Kimberly. Uh, hi for me and the family. Have a lovely week. Thank you very much for that. Um, I told you I'm trying to scroll through here and go back a little bit, but if you've asked a question, go ahead and ask it again because I, I just didn't have, I couldn't walk, talk, and read at the same time. If you're going to ask a question, do it in all capitals. It makes it easier for me to scroll through and find them uh, and identify the questions. So. have not sealed the concrete. Uh, we're just cleaning it with uh, dish soap and the pressure washer and, um, and a squeegee. And so far we haven't really messed it up, so. We have really good lighting in here right now. We have these hyper light LEDs. It's, I mean, it's, it's pitch black outside and it's bright in here, so. Uh, we are gonna spray foam, but we can't spray foam until everything's pretty much so done. So that'll be one of the very last things to get done. We need to be able to get to all the structure of the building, the nuts and the bolts and stuff like that to do everything we need to do. And then we'll do the spray foam. And yes, I am gonna go back on the road, um, just not until next year. And we're planning on doing it half the time, half the time on the road, half the time here. Um, hey, Phil, how are you doing? I see that. Okay, I wonder if I should, let me move somewhere. I don't know if you can hear the TV and the, from the Prevo. I can hear it, so let me move. I'm not really sure what they're watching. I know what we'll do. I'll go out and sit in the chill area. So far, no spider webs. They like to stick to my face. Bear with me on shaky camera for a second while I lower the tripod. Get a nice peaceful Tennessee forest view tonight. Yeah, lumber prices have dropped a ton here. Bus parts are easy to get. We're not having any. Typically within a few days, we have just about anything we want. Okay, so questions on here. Uh, I don't know what we're leaf spring yet. I gotta call the spring manufacturer and see what they wanna do, but most likely I'm just gonna go back to my head and put some helper airbags on it and call it a day. Um, we do have some space here for bus camping. We only allow Patreon members to come and do that though, and they have the information on that. It's posted on the Patreon page. Uh, clearance lights for a uh, MCI, I would start looking with like Chris Newton. Um, should be able to find him on like an MCI group in Facebook or something like that. Hey, Gino's Garage.
uh, we're, we're close to a state highway, but we're not, we're far, we're like 20 minutes from the interstate. So not too bad. Yeah, I did. Someone was asking the, about if I saw what was going on with Red, White, and Bethune, um, that they went back on their video footage and had footage of that uh, um, missing girl's van in uh, the Tetons where they were at. And I think that their information led to the discovery of the of the girl. So follow their channel, get some more. It was kind of a it was a very strange story the way that it played out how like all the coincidences that made it up for them to be there at the the date that they were there and the time that they were there and to have their camera running and um red white and bethune is the name they were here they had an eagle bus that we put a turbo on last year We've had nonstop people here. Um, we have a few buses here right now. One, two, we have three, three client buses here right now. Leroy is loving the property and he's really come out of a shell. He's being very sociable to people. Um, everybody that's been here has just been loving on him and he's been having a really good time. He's, uh, he used to be that way. And then he got, when we were on the road so much, uh, he got not used to being around strangers, so he got a little more cautious. And then when we got here to the property, he was very, very cautious of people. But uh, he's really opened up. We're, we're happy for him. The weather is nice here right now. It's, it's rained every day for the last week, I swear, it seems like. Um, we're well over the rainforest uh, level for uh, rainforest climate this year for our rainfall. Um, we still have flooding. The road next to us, the very next road, is is washed out from flooding. Um, another one across the street's got some damage too. So, but we're fine. Uh, Charles, uh, if you know there's certain parts that you absolutely need, then yeah, get them ahead of time because then we're not waiting on parts. Um, otherwise, you know, if you don't know what's wrong, you don't know until you get here. But if there's something you're concerned about, yeah, it's definitely best to order it ahead of time. Otherwise, we're tearing things down and then waiting, you know, two, two to three days to get parts. Typically, shipping, if we're ordering from Luke at US Coach, it's two days if he's got it in stock. Uh, but our UPS doesn't come until the very end of the day. So UPS gets here at, you know, five o'clock in the evening. That's our, that, you know, that's the... Uh, we're not going to be able to get to it then until the third day. So we're going to get ready uh, on the apartment here. The next step is the sheeting on the outside of the apartment to get done. Um, I got to bring in some more chert to level out the area out here on the back side so that we can have the scaffolding outside. Um, we only have about two feet of concrete, and that's not enough to, to do that. There's good cell phone signal here on our property. Um, we do not have good uh, service, though, with, like, uh, T-Mobile and, and Sprint. But AT&T and uh, Verizon both work very well. Any other company, I can't tell you how it would work or not. I know that Jerry was here with, I believe it was T-Mobile, and he couldn't do anything. He couldn't text. He couldn't nothing. So all of his girlfriends were having a hard time getting a hold of him. <laughs> I'm just kidding because Jerry's watching. <laughs> uh, there's people in that bus in there. So I don't want to shine the camera in on them. And, and uh, that's why I'm, we're just looking outside tonight. And I, I was showing the shop, but they had their TV on in the bus, and I didn't want to. I didn't know if you could hear that or not, so I didn't want to. Today, other than it rained this morning, a couple times throughout the day it rained too. But otherwise, temperature, man, it was a it, today was a fall day. It was nice and cool. Uh, it was just beautiful. A little bit of a breeze.
Yeah, we have Tyvek here that'll go on it once it gets sheeted. Tyvek wasn't cheap. It was 250 bucks for a roll of it. Uh, the shop is 78 by 40, and then the apartment is like 22 feet of that at the end, so 22 by 40. Um, I do have some videos coming. Um, lots of cool new stuff that we've got that in the toolboxes and different stuff that I just I didn't have. I didn't want to. We have a separate video when we got it, some unboxing videos and stuff of some really neat products and things like that, too. Um, I have a review of that uh, solar power station that we've been using um, that's going to come up. Um, the installation of all the, sh the shop lights inside there that we use, the, the ceiling lighting. I got two different companies that sent us some lights up there that we're going to do some videos for. Um, there are no bears here in this part of Tennessee. I didn't compare anything. I just Tyvex what I'm used to using and, uh, I'm feeling good. My back's been really good lately. I haven't had any major issues today. I was hunched over in a wheel well for a while. That was always challenging. But we've been doing so much work. My knees are a little sore from going up and down the ladders. It's nice that we have the stairs now uh, on the apartment. We've only had that for like two days. Um, lots of up and down the ladders to build these. You know, it's it's over, it's 20 feet, 20, 21 feet in the top where those boards go. And uh, it's a long way up off the ground. Thank, thankfully, Rick did a lot of the, the high, all. He did all of the <laughs> super high work. <laughs> but I'm still up and down the ladders a lot. So I'll go through the shop one more time here in just a second in case you came late uh, to the live so you can see it. We do need to get the sides of the building sealed up with the, the mortar mix that goes in there. Um, Got to get that on the list here before it gets too cold. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to putting the windows in, but we'll be able to do it. Okay, I think it's like I'm caught up on your questions here. Oh, Big Bill, yeah, seven foot tall. That would have come in real handy. <laughs> yeah, we have a mechanical room going in. It's not framed in yet, but it's going in. It's going to be in front of where Lenny is parked. Uh, that's where all the, the water heater and the electrical panel and all that stuff is going. So it's, it's not framed in yet. Uh, the apartment's going to have a fireplace in it, and it's going to have mini splits. There'll be heat pumps as well. The shop is going to be heated by a, a waste oil burner, I believe is what we're going to use. So, okay. All right, well, let me go back inside, and I'll do the one quick tour of the shop again for the people who didn't see it. Just a second to get my tripod readjusted. Oh. I'm gonna go in through a window. So yeah, this will be the kitchen down here. So it's pretty large. And 
then that's going to be the living room. We've got the staircase going up, duck for the scaffolding. And the bathroom will be that room back over there. A new toolbox. Air compressor, parts washer, press, charging station that we're working on. All solar powered, so the solar panels are outside in the sun, and then they charge that in here. Lots of tool storage and shop supply storage, shop supplies, cleaning stuff, brake clean, oil dry, blocking, porta power, I think, comes in handy. Uh, yeah, brake clean, kind of messy. Cardboard for the ground. The uh, magic creeper thing. It's like a material you lay on and it slides around. It works like a creeper, but it's pretty cool. It's comfortable. And this is the Prevo that we're working on. We showed you the outside security light that we have there and security cameras, trail cameras. I don't use a lot of air. Just so you know, everybody who thinks I need a giant air compressor. So we got Lenny in here. You can't even really see that he's in here. <laughs> he's so small compared to some of these modern buses. Yes, the bus rally is sold out. But we'll have lots of video from it and we'll do some live streams and stuff too. We're really keeping the numbers down with COVID and everything too, so. These are our toolboxes. Those Olight flashlights I was talking about, I'll post a link in the description um, to the sale that they're having on those. They're super bright and I love Olights. I, matter of fact, I probably have one. No, I was just using it, it's left over there. This is the main kind of box. I got some organizers I gotta put into these. drawer that's our half inch stuff that's our hammer drawer <laughs> you have oh lights burn holes in your pockets so that was just one of them this is the one that's got all the ah, sorry too much junk in the way one inch and three quarter Plus I got that Tecton three quarter set that's out right now too. And the big, big stuff goes in the top. Oh yeah, any bus will fit in here. We've, we've had three of them in here already. So at a time, that's not a problem. Super clean, sent us our first little banner for the wall. How you like that? They sent us a little housewarming gift. They sent us some degreasers and stuff like that. I think I posted a picture of it on our uh, Instagram. If you don't follow us on Instagram, Bus Grease Monkey, we post lots of little updates on there and stuff. Yeah, we're not doing the coating on the floor. Um, we're just going to kind of polish the concrete, I believe is just our plan, and then just keep it clean and try to put stuff down when we're, when we're doing it. This air compressor is really quiet, but yeah, we're planning on putting it out, outside. I just haven't moved it out there yet. It's gonna end up in the laundry room, I believe. We just needed something bigger than what we had, so. It's mostly just for jacks and filling up buses though. So, you know, that air hammer, that's about all I use it for. And the nail gun that we've been doing the construction with. So I don't think I need a larger air compressor than that. I have a friend who's gonna give me one, he's got one, but I gotta get out to his place to get it. And I, I may not really, I don't think I need anything that big. It's three phase two and we don't have that here. So I have to put a converter and. Definitely beats laying in the mud. Yeah, this white ball towel rack thing that they got us is really neat. If you just step on the bottom of it though, and then you can tear off a towel, it'll tear off when it gets there. 
And these towels, there's nothing like them. They're super strong, you can't tear them. I washed an entire bus using this as the rag in soap. I love those white balls. And so we used to get, just get them in the boxes like that and then uh, we stopped doing that. But yeah, I'll put a link to it. I'm sure it's on Amazon. You don't have to remember what it is. <sighs> Again, this will all be drywalled over. Fire code has to separate the garage from the living quarters, it has to be drywalled. But I wanted the backing board on it so that I could attach to it anywhere I want without worrying about it. And then uh, also the, uh, it makes it stronger for the wind bracing. So to have that on there, if a big gust of wind comes through the shop, it's not gonna affect that wall. So yeah, I, I could convert anything to that like I want to, or I could just plug that one in and, and have it work just like I need it to. So I don't need bigger. Don't let the air compressor talk be the new plasma cutter. <laughs> I actually like that smaller Harbor Freight one that I had that was super quiet. And then we just had it going into, I have all these old air compressors that are no good and I'm just using them for volume on tank storage. So instead of just having that size tank, I have a bigger, bigger tank capacity. I have three of them like that. So we had them with the air hoses run to them. That little, that little compressor was great, but it only had a three month warranty and it died after four months. So this new one has a uh, three year warranty. So. It should last three years. There's another one of those jack stands that we got on the ground there next to the golf cart. Can of Croil. The driveway compactor that we've been using. We bought that at... Uh, I forgot where I bought that at. Tractor Supply. It's awesome. And then, uh, yeah, the Blue Eddy solar power station we've been using. Uh, I got a good deal on RV antifreeze the other day. <laughs> Oh, big spider I almost walked into. Oh, God. <laughs> my leg actually got, and I stopped. That's nice. But yeah, uh, anybody need some RV antifreeze? My guy at O'Reilly's, they had a case that came in, or a pallet that came in damaged. So I got that stuff super cheap. Isn't it nice out here at night? It's so peaceful. Yeah, I mean, eventually I'd like to have actually the shop just powered by solar power. So we'll see, because it's all LED lighting that we've got in there. That's, you know, we have a whole bunch more lights. There's another one of those big bright ones over here. It's just not on right now. And then I have more of those uh, to put up on the other side too. I use that big crescent wrench a lot. I'm, I'm, right now, I'm not worried about ventilation, but if we have to put an attic fan in there, we will. But we'll, we'll see. I don't, I don't know how it's going to be. Yeah. The lights all have a warranty on them, so I'm not worried about that either. Uh, I think it's cloudy out tonight. <laughs> Rick affectionately named this road Cedar Lane. <laughs> and then he lined it with cedar logs. <laughs> <laughs> the cedar trees that were cut down from Cedar Lane. Yeah, they have heat sinks being built into them, but I'm not here to argue the longevity of lighting. You know what happens if they die? You just put a new one up. We, it's been a hundred, we've had a couple days that have been a hundred degrees out here and it's been very cool in this shop. It's so much better than being out in the sun. I cannot tell you how much cooler it is. 
But again, it's not closed off at one end right now. So, but these were days where there was really no breeze, but still the heat was able to come up out of there. So the concrete stayed really cool on the floor. I worked closer to the floor. It was warmer when we were building the building and I was up on ladders and stuff like that. I could definitely feel the heat up high, but down by the floor, it was very cool. So hopefully it will stay like that. And if not, then we'll deal with it. Not a big concern. Rick's gone. Rick left uh, this morning. So last, last chance for any questions, and then we're gonna finish this up here tonight. Like I said, I got lots of videos in the works. Got some projects, some buses that we were working on and things I haven't edited yet. Um, I got some really cool stuff for like uh, shop warming gifts from Patreon members and stuff like that. And I wanna go through and, and show, some, cause there's some really neat products that we got. I wanna thank the individual people that got them for me, but also, you know, show you what we got cause they're really cool things. Uh, family's here. Kelly's in the bus with Leroy. They're probably watching this video right now, and Tyler's probably at his place. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing some bifold doors uh, that are on roll track slides over there that still give me full access to the building, but I, we haven't decided on the doors. The, the first two companies that we reached out to about getting garage doors were ridiculous prices. Uh, um, and I liked squeezing that third bus in there. Um, so I'm, I'm, we're rethinking how we're gonna do the doors on it, but we haven't made any decisions yet on that. I, the, the building permit and stuff like that, that doesn't matter what we're gonna do for the, for the end wall on the shop side. It's really just the apartment side that's the big deal for that. How much do I have in that? Well, the building was a little over 20. The concrete was like 17, 18,000. Uh, and then we had another couple thousand in prep for that. And lumber and supplies, we're, we're probably getting close to 55 to 60 into it. Long way to go. Windows are gonna be really expensive. Tyler's been working on his bus. Yeah, he was sawing stuff and putting two by fours in the other day when I saw him working on his living room, I think up front or his kitchen, finishing his part of his kitchen. Yeah. Having the shop is so much better working in there. Uh, especially because as much rain as we've had. I love being able to just work in the rain. It's super nice. It's actually nice when it's raining because the temperatures come down and, and all that, but I used to get wet and muddy doing it. So now I stay dry and enjoy the coolness of the rain. Uh, Steel Master is where I got that building from, but make sure you watch the video when I did it so that you know some very important things if you do buy from them. Like you have to completely inventory everything when they deliver it. Or if there's anything that's damaged or missing, you have 30 days to report it and that is it. Yeah, Mike, I like that style of sliding doors from those hangers. That's something considering. Making it look like a World War II hangar isn't a bad idea either. I like that kind of look.
I'm fine doing the high work. Um, I just, I'm a lot slower than somebody who's, who loves it. <laughs> I will go all the way up there. I have been all the way up there. Um, I won't hang over the side of a ladder on one leg and one leg wrapped around something else to hold on to, lean, and, you know, that's Rick. He's crazy like that. I won't do that. <laughs> I'm a lot more cautious. But once I get up there, I get used to it. But Rick still makes fun of me. I have not picked any doors yet. I actually called today and talked to a window company about the windows and uh, windows and doors for the apartment side. So, all right. Well, it gives you a good, a good sense of the shop, how it's coming along, how it's progressing. Again, I got videos of a couple buses that we've worked on and some other stuff and some reviews and some that all the cool shop warming gifts that we got. And uh, we got the bus rally coming up just over a month now. It is sold out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and finish up. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. And again, I'll put links to those flashlights. And then somebody asked for that white ball towel thing. I'll put a link to that from Amazon on there as well. Um, I can't think of anything else. Okay. Well, thank you very much, guys. Have a good night, everybody.